Hey, gun people. <laughs> All right, so I guess Baltimore's got a. I posted another video on planting evidence, and I guess this is the video that everybody kept wanting me to review. So I guess there's a couple of them. But anyway, so this is the one where the guy they're saying turn off his footage and he hid dope. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on this one. I'm on the fence. So let me explain why everybody. God, you do think a damn cop side, damn cop. Oh, shut up, listen. <laughs> I'll explain my position, and you can see where I'm coming from. Uh, I mean, obviously, the cop screwed up. He's playing with his mic, and and his recorder, and they did something that they shouldn't have done. My question is, did he do it with the intent? to entrap or falsely charge somebody? Or did he do it in order to get better evidence and to make his case so they couldn't say that he didn't find it? And and I'll look at a video and we'll go through here. Now remember, on this video, if you go through the article, it talks about them having 30 seconds before and they think the officer didn't know that. And obviously he messed up when he did this because it recorded 30 seconds before you turn the camera on and that's how he got caught with stuff that he didn't want it on because when he turned it on and started talking, they backed it up 30 seconds and that's what you see. And when he starts talking is after the 30 second time limit. So they know when he, when he turned it on. Now, the thing that bothers me is in this article, it talks about the DA has dropped cases. I don't know how they know this, but the DA has dropped cases these officers were involved in. Now, that could be one of two reasons. It could be because they messed around with their cameras and now their credibility is going to be in question. Or it could be that they have additional footage from the cameras and the officers, they know they're going to end up charging them. So this article is pretty long, but l let's look at the video here. Okay, so I got the video muted and we'll kind of look through this. Um, and I'm going to pause it. So the can here... We know it's the same can. I looked at it at several different areas. I watched the box. This is a 2x4 that's rolled over. I've gone back and forth. And there's no doubt that when he picks up this can and he rolls this over, there's three officers there. Two of them are watching him. He's talking to them. So here's the bag of dope. Here's what I'm thinking might have happened. And you can see that very quickly there in his hand. So there's the dope they have found. And all three of them are there. Now, the person that was charged with this, they already found dope on him. And he was already arrested. So it's not, in my book, what's, what's the upside of bringing your own dope to an area to set up an innocent guy or to set up a guy you've already got in custody that you took dope off of and now you're going to use your own dope to put more dope in the back so you can say he had more than he had. That just doesn't make sense to me. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think like these cops are. What does make sense is these three cops were back here looking and they're like, shit, I found this dope. Is your camera on? No. Damn it, I'm going to put it back where I found it I'm going to stick it back on the ground and I'm going to turn my camera on and come back and find it on camera so we don't get accused of some bullshit. Now, it's still wrong. I'm not saying he should have done it. He made a mistake. Maybe he's a young officer. Maybe he's he, he's been called on a carpet. Maybe he's trying to cover his ass so much. There's three officers there. One, one over here, one over here, and one here. So there's three officers here. I don't think they all three conspired to hide dope, to carry dope to a scene, to set somebody up who's already gotten busted with dope and they already have them. It sounds like from reading the article, they did what's called a controlled buy. They had a UC, an undercover sale, and then they got in a pursuit and they chased him. And when they caught him, he had part of the dope or he was selling dope to an undercover. They chased him. And when they caught him, he only had one bag of dope, which was closed. It was rubber band and closed up. And since the normal operation, and I know people don't want to hear this, the profiling of arresting several dope dealers 
is normally people that sell dope on a the street, they have a couple bags on them. They may have three bags, and they keep one of them open. So when somebody comes up and wants to buy a rock, I can just reach in and pull a rock out of my open bag. I don't have to pull out the whole bag of dope and then undo the rubber band and then take one rock out and then put the rubber band back. They're not that organized. So they may carry a couple of clothes bags in their sock, and they'll have one open bag in their pocket that they're reaching in and, and, and selling each individual rock. So when these officers caught him and both of his bags were closed, they were like, he must have ditched an open bag. There has to be an open bag around here that he hid either when we got him or before we caught him because we only caught him with a closed bag of dope. So this bag of dope is open and you can see it very quickly as he moves it, it's open and it's extended. So he does put it in a can. Now, did he pull it out of that can? Did the 30-second of video miss him finding it and moving that? And is he moving this piece of wood here to put it back to how it was when he found it? So he can turn on his camera and find it on camera. To me, that sounds a little more reasonable. Because, I mean, look, man, I know a lot of dirty cops. But I never seen a cop carry and possess, possess dope for the purpose of setting somebody up and hiding on them. It's just not worth your career to get some bad guy. I mean, there's so many bad guys, and you can catch them in these shit areas so freaking easy. I mean, I could get five guys with dope in, in less than an hour if I wanted to. Why would I want to carry around dope to set some innocent guy up when I had five or six guys at my beck and call whenever I wanted them? So I'm thinking what happened is these guys got caught up trying to make their case better. They wanted to get finding the dope where they found it first and their cameras weren't on. They wanted to get it on camera when they found it. And I think he put the dope back in a can. He put it back where he found it. And then he went and turned his camera on and came back. Now, I could be wrong. I know there's some people out there saying, man, you're so blinded and biased and you're just taking a cut. I'm not. I'm just trying to be reasonable and trying to look at this from the outside without knowing all the facts, what is more reasonable? A cop carrying dope, risking three cop careers, three cops conspiring to carry around dope to plant on a guy that they already caught with a bag of dope. Does that sound more reasonable than three cops back there with their cameras off, kicking cans and moving shit and saying, oh shit. I just found the dope. This is probably the other bag he had. Shit, our camera's in. Let me, let me put it back where I found it and turn our cameras on. Which one sounds more reasonable? Now, I know to the cop haters and think all cops are bad, the first one sounds more reasonable. But from a cop's perspective, in my book, knowing cops and how they think and how they like to cover their ass and how they want to make their case as good as they can without being illegal or breaking the law, the second scenario sounds better to me. So... Here they are. They're like, oh, shit, we found, oh, shit, man, my camera went on. Let me let me turn my camera on. This is in the 30-second pause. I put it back where I found it. I'm going to walk out here. I'm going to turn my camera on so it looks like I walk in the alley and I go back there and I find it. Now, it's kind of stupid because if you're going to walk in an alley back there, you're going to walk right to the spot where it was. You're not going to look around. I think he might kick one other bag or something when he goes back there. I'll advance it up a little bit for him to go back. So he wants to make sure his camera's running. He walks back here, says, let me go check. Is it wrong? Yes, he shouldn't have done it. But is he doing it to set some innocent guy up? No. So he looks in one can to make it look good. He's reenacting his steps of what he did when he went back there the first time. And now he's going to reach down and find the dope like he did the first time. I move this bag. Let's see. Then I pick up this wood. Oh, yeah. Let me check this can. This is, and, and here's where he finds the dope, and they're saying he set it up and it's illegal. Unfortunately, in, in the defense attorney's mind and in the court's mind, they're going to say, you know what? If you lied about setting your camera up to find dope, if you lied once, why should we believe you about anything else? And that's where the cops got problems. That's where this is going to be issues. It's going to come in to discovery. It's going to be what's called a Brady issue. 
and Brady is you you have to discover things about officers that are that could make them not reliable so now the DA because he knows his cop kind of turned his camera off turned it on and did this even though he wasn't trying to set a guy up even though he wasn't trying to put somebody innocent in jail he still did something that he shouldn't have done and it puts his credibility in question so the guy may lose his job the other cops may get disciplined even though I don't think any one of them and not all three of them conspired to plant evidence on some innocent guy I think the second scenario that I explained is more reasonable I think that makes more sense to me I think that's what the investigation is gonna find out what happened I think that's gonna be their story again I've dealt with a lot of cops and I've seen a lot of cops that I didn't like didn't trust and I thought were dirty but I've never seen a cop carry around dope so he can plan on somebody to get some arrest on somebody and maybe there's some ex-husband who's screwing his ex uh, his ex-wife and he's after the boyfriend and he may try and seize dope from one guy and set up this guy who's screwing his wife that that might have that might have happened in the history of cops I, I don't know if there's any specific case and I could see that but to go through all that on a guy that you've already busted with dope on him and in it and you're just looking for the open bag because through history we call it through scheme and design uh, the, the normal operating procedure for drug dealers for car thieves for whatever crime you're looking that's what I think happened you guys can beat me up in the comments if you want to and say I'm just protecting the cop but uh, that's my story until I hear other evidence that's what I'm sticking with alright well in that there